Hello everyone. So I have this post in form where a customer asks how we can collect custom attributes for user before redirecting user to uh, operator. So I'll try to build uh, this bot together with you just. Okay, so first thing we have to uh, Okay, so first thing we have this form uh, name where it's uh, ask, asks before starting a chat. So I guess I do not want this to be here at all, and it should be on the start chat uh, uh, button. So let's go to start chat form settings and disable this form collecting. Oh, that's refresh so we have only start chat <laughs> button it looks pretty plain but for example you can uh, uh, enter some uh, inter introduction like welcome to our website let's update and see so we have this intro so it will not be as plain and you can put uh, like html here or, or similar things so we have this one and we have start chat. So at the moment when chat starts, nothing uh, happens. So we can change that in our bot configuration. So we have empty bot. Let's see what can we change here. Okay, so we do not uh, want to hide these things either. So, so let's start like this and we should see here yeah, you see we see our bot uh, profile now we can uh, let we can like start defining our uh, bot workflow so first thing we create a default group okay now we define a trigger which will be like a default as the last time we did and we add a response like uh, welcome to our website how can we help you how can we help okay now end the chat our chat and uh, we need to change it to be our default message like this okay and let add let's say a few quick replies I like transfer me to an operator and another <coughs> sorry we can apply let's say uh, prices let it be so let's define two new triggers it will be for prices prices oh, prices looks like this okay, and you can write anything you want okay let's save it so for prices we change to execute trigger and we choose prices and save and now let's create this trigger okay let's say transfer Transfer to operator save. Okay, now as we do not have any customer information at the moment, let's have like uh, let's have something we see. There is one bot, so no, here, yeah, this one, I guess. Yeah, so it's does not have any uh, nick associated with okay, it has as the fee but i guess it's just as no oh i know it just remembers from a past sessions uh, visitor nick so let's but we want to collect it uh, as fresh each time so let's try this collect custom information Let's see, me. I have your username. 
as for attribute identifier we can have like uh, any custom one or we can have uh, like system predefined let's try nick okay nick attribute and name we don't have to fill and for pragmatic rule let's say it has to be minimum five characters hmm. okay. sorry but uh, to be at least a child as land. Let's try like this. Okay. 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 And let's see how it all goes. As I do not, uh, I'm doing all of this live, so. It will take a little bit more time if I just had everything already done. So let's execute trigger, choose transfer to an operator. Okay, now and the chart. Add chart. Okay, so we have prices. If we click uh, like this, our prices looks like this. Okay, price. Thank you. Okay. All time from where comes this? Let's think you. Hmm? Okay. Right, so. Interesting from where did come this thank you word? Perhaps. Oh, I guess I know because I imported uh, previously just this triggers I guess there is something left in the database just a moment okay so it was just a legacy record in database so nothing to worry about okay so let's try this workflow now so we have prices and when we write nothing happens so we have to define another trigger for unknown actually we can uh, uh, use uh, like uh, perhaps let's add new trigger just unknown no. other response like oh, sorry i did not this so how can i help you okay and we have this default uh, message and uh, actually we can just uh, duplicate this or just create no options let's uh, let's try just duplicate quickly and let's say transfer me to and then try prices first with a good trigger choose prices uh, add another quick reply and uh, to operator and uh, transfer to operator save so now if i write something like this bot writes sorry i did not understood and how can i help you and we get the same workflow with price okay now let's try Okay, now when I click transfer to operator, it writes like it did not understood. So we can, I guess I need some type of, okay, transfer to operator. Okay, two trigger, no, let's click transfer to operator. Okay. Transfer to operator. Actually, it should work, I guess. Perhaps. Uh, just a moment. So, the only thing I had to change is just to enter attribute name. So, now we have created another trigger transfer for real it will do real transferring operator to to 
to real transferring visitor to operator so we have like uh, update current chat stop chat and transfer to human and let's save it and this one we can actually rename like to collect username so let's see if we trigger on success we change transfer for real let's update it and we have let's say our message has been Done. Okay, let's save it and let's see. Please enter your username. Minimum five characters. Let's save it and let's start the chat. Transfer to operator. And you see, it writes minimum five characters. If I enter two, uh, it writes error that character has to be at least five uh, characters length. So let's say like this. So it was uh, chat was changed as you see to support stuff, but it would be nice if the visitor would be would be shown, for example. Uh, his confirmation message and as you see here nick is also now changed to remedial so we can do it uh, we can try to enter it here uh, like thank you you uh, uh, Okay, let's say like this. Let's end this chat, start another one, and transfer to operator. Let's try again. Thank you. And you see that wrote message you were transferred to an operator. Okay, another thing uh, we can try to do let's say you want to collect a visitor email after after we collected the uh, yes username okay so what we have to do uh, let's create another event another triggers call and write it like collect email add response do again attribute identifier we say email email let's write this email here and for pragmash rule i have found an internet with pragmash rule so we can test just so please enter your email now now on success we do this transfer for you validation so email seems invalid Okay, we can do like this and we have to update this one because after this one successful, is successfully, uh, successfully validated, we have to not execute but collect email. So we update this one and I guess that's all. Okay, let's try now. Chat, stop chat, transfer it to operator. Let's try. Okay. okay, it wrote this message. So we can, for example, now like uh, like disable this one, delete this one as it's not needed anymore. So now it asks for email. Okay, it's right in the wallet. Let's try now like this. Now it seems this big mesh rule I found it's not valid, but actually you see we do not need these uh, brackets in my case. Let's save it. 
And let's try again. Okay, we have just to start another chat. Okay, I let Chris. Okay, you see? Now it validated and I'm transferred to operator. So I can just uh, now con write confirmation as thank you. Like you were transferred to an operator. Okay, so and if we open a chat, we see we have email, we have a, a visitor name, test. Okay, now let's say we want to collect uh, order number, which will be like custom at attribute. So we have create another trigger. Okay, order number. Okay. At response, we we'll do same thing again. Just instead of entering any of these predefined, we just enter, for example, order number. It can be any any identifier you want. So for it, it will be as order number. For pragmatic rule, let's say uh, we want it to be a number. Just. Okay, enter miss, please. Enter your number. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and now we do a transfer for real. And validation. And the number has to be the girl. Girl. Right, like this number. Okay, now we go to this one, change it to order number, delete this one, and in order number we write like this. So I guess we can try again now. So let's end the chat, start the chat, transfer data, username says new, email will be like this. Order now if I enter a number like text, it says it's same value. So I can enter like this, and now I'm transferring to an operator. So chat becomes a spending chat, and let's see what we have here. So you see, order number is uh, four five. That's the number I enter in general. So basically, that's the workflow you can you can do you have one uh, nice thing you can do now as i do not want uh, for visitor enter a data to be displayed uh, uh, here so i can change this ui to something different let's go to widget themes we do not have and uh, let's say change the default style uh, and go to message style and uh, Let's uh, hide visitor profile like this. Let, let's update. So now we change uh, this image to be our default one. So if I refresh, you see it's on the visitor messages without visible profile and operator messages. So basically, that's all how you can uh, uh, implement the thing. Uh, customer ask it in the forum post. So, bye.